Yo, 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 it's your girl White Gold, and this is Snoopers Gonna Snoop YouTube channel. We have the most handsome fireworks with us today, and today is my birthday. Happy I'm birthday. 28 today, and um, shout out to all my Scorpios out there. Um, today, we're just gonna do one movie, and we are gonna do Speak No Evil from this year. It has James McAvoy in it. Um, we're not real sure about it much. No. But we did see this trailer in theaters. Like, I, I don't remember exactly what movie, but I know we've seen it a couple times and it actually looks really good. And we're huge fans of James McAvoy. I am anyway. Yeah. And, you know, he loves him from the X-Men things. And he's just been in, he's just a great actor. And I'm so excited to take a look at it. Are you excited? Yes. I, I'm like so excited to take a look at this. It's like a horror movie. And I guess James McAvoy and his wife, like the bad the bad guys or something in this movie but yeah i'm excited to take a look um happy birthday to me yes. happy birthday to white goat y'all make sure y'all show him some love in the comments you dig i hope you guys enjoy this pick that i made for today and it's not that long i don't think i think it's only like an hour 45 but um i guess before we get into this make sure you guys are leaving a like and if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. That way when we do a video just like this one, you guys will get it first. Also, we've been doing live streams every Saturday for Dragon Ball Daima. So make sure you head over to Switch and follow us there. Um, also, Patreon. Everything early, all unedited videos are over there. So all those links are down in the description. All right, let's get started, you guys. I'm White Gold, and this is Firework. And this is Snoopers in the Snoop YouTube channel. And we back. Oh, Blumhouse? Okay, yeah. So this is gonna be some type of scary scary. Mm -hmm. He's a he's in one of the goats too now. Starting already. Okay, so it was probably like a Blumhouse <laughs> movie and Universal like mm -hmm. distributed it. <laughs> the way it's make the way the angle is makes it look like the kids driving. I know. Okay, it's nice. Yeah, the cinematography is amazing. You said 10 minutes. Mom. Agnes. Indoor voice. Agnes. Agnes. <laughs> indoors. Hey, is this chair free? No, yeah, sure. <laughs> Damn, really? He moved this shit all the way over here. Y'all see my man's outfit? He got on high top all white Air Force Ones with the strap out like Nelly and then with no, with no show socks. Do y'all see my boy's calves? It's nasty work. Please don't give Agnes any apple juice before bed. Si, I swear that bunny. We need to stage an intervention. Oh, oh the bunny! Strange place. And you feel safe. <laughs> Bro, he he. Damn. Right, how you Matlin? I was gonna say. But at the same, at the same time, like, why are they kind of wild? I guess in comparison to them. Right. It's a whole contrast difference. I believe they're making the gnocchi. Oh, mm. it's gonna be great about Italian food. And he even invented some variations of. Jeez. Boy. The hell is his obsession That's with him? a nice him? little villa. Yeah, it is. It's like in Italy. Hey, honey, well, just calm down, okay? Don't worry, mm. we'll find him, okay? It's okay, right? baby. It's okay. Here, daddy's gonna find him. Come on, let's. Damn, she's upset about that bunny. No, well, I guess it was World War Three. It's on the way. Kind of funny. Okay, breathing in. So, she can have that bunny till she's 30 if she wants to. Ain't nothing wrong with it. She need to let that bunny go. Slowing up my trip over no damn bunny. We in Venice somewhere. Grazie. Grazie. Yeah, there it is. That's when you just tell your kid, don't bring it, because if you lose it, you yeah. lost it in Italy, okay? Yeah. You can't get it back. I used to do that on vacation. My mom would make me keep certain stuff because she didn't want me to lose it on vacation. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Patrick Feld. This is my wife, Kira. Oh, and um, has some trouble communicating, so... Damn, you. what the hell? And that's, that's awkward that they found it. Nice Vespa. 
Yeah, isn't she? We got her from Paolo on the front desk. You should try. Oh, Can no. we please, Dad? <laughs> Honey, I'll, I'll be really, really sorry. Oh, it's hard to say no, isn't it? <laughs> it's a bad idea. No way. Right, we'll go nice and slow, yeah. okay? See you guys in a sec. Okay. This is natural. <laughs> no, she'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, that is a little fast. Just a little around the block. <laughs> That was so much fun. You did great. Say thank you thank to Mr. You. Feld. You guys eating lunch yet? We were thinking we were going to hang out with that really interesting Danish couple. You know the ones? <laughs> we're just messing with <laughs> <laughs> They were like, nah. <laughs> nah. So we make the decision that we're going to move to London. Hiring great new people and then... And Louise. The boss a little bit. Uh, I'm, uh... Does anybody else that's watching this with us feel weird about this right now? I feel hella weird. You have to come and visit. Really, it's beautiful. Yeah, that'd be great. You're a lawyer. No, doctor. Do a little bit of work with Médecins Sans Frontières, and then... Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. You're a vegetarian for... Her health benefits and the animal welfare and the environment. No, no, no. You want a dessert? No, no, she's already had her ice cream for the day. You guys are tough. <laughs> and you can play a bit... Stick. Yeah, like, see, like, like, there's something, like, that's immediately fast and too mm -hmm. casual. It's too casual, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, right now, everything seems surface level, They like, they mean well, but... Yeah, that's literally just surface level. He's born with a much smaller tongue than you or I. It makes it hard for him to communicate. Oh, shit. The Danes. Oh, no. The Danes. Hey. Bro, so he said his son's tongue is smaller. He probably cut his tongue out of some crazy shit. Are you terrible? <laughs> you do not know the half of it. <laughs> no, we probably really don't. We don't know what an eighth of it. I want to hear them jokes, bro. You already give me. I've seen the trailer. So I got a feeling this dude's gonna go crazy, but it might, you know what I'm saying? It might, since it's a horror movie, it might be like a spirit or he gets possessed or some shit. I hope not. London. God, remind me why we live in London again? Come on, go What movie was that where they said that? Was it The Parent Trap? I remember our agreement. Poppy gets his own room before Christmas. Right, you're almost 12 years old. Okay, so they're back home from Italy. <laughs> that was your take? Oh, and... girl is weird about this bunny. Louise, do you think we should worry about, yeah. like, the... She'll hear you. It's probably better that she does. I got a call from the headhunter today. I didn't even get it. Honey, I'm sorry. Damn, he didn't get the... I guess he didn't get the job or whatever. So you taking that on your dog? No, I'm joking. Uh, look who wrote us, your friend. You really must come visit the farm. Devon Air, fresh food, and long walks. Maybe this would be good for her. Uh, for us. Maybe a bit long to spend with people we barely know. Anyways. Yeah, y'all think that now? I mean, I know y'all was on vacation and having a good time, but shit, like mm -hmm. that was a lot. Yeah? Yeah. Be fun. So now she's gonna do it anyway. Uh, I mm -mm. The beginning of the end. I'm a witchy bitch. So when I say no, we're not, no. We're not. Because I sense, oh my God. <laughs> Who did that? Bruh, they're like, oh, where are we going? <laughs> We're gonna have to put a protection. If we go, we gotta put a protection spell on us oh, or Lord. like some kind of something. <laughs> yeah. But I can sense things and. Mm -mm. Oh, War Memorial. Left, 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 left. <sighs> Good to see you, darling. Come on, we'll get you in. They're way too far out for me. Yeah. Like, there's no civilization, even if you run off, bro. Like, wow. Cider from our very own farm apples. So, you try our Calvados, it's 150 proof. Oh my gosh. 150 proof? That's gas. Huh? Say hi to Anne, sweetie. Hi, Anne. Look at this. We made you a little bed. And for the football fan. <laughs> oh, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> It's good for them, you know? They need that outlet. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. And, but I don't know. That's why I'm like... Uh, Get his ball back. There's like tiny clues, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like the kid, I be looking at his face. Like he don't be saying nothing, but they did say he's like, but is, did he do it? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I feel like what you said is accurate. Ta-da! Libby and Laurent. <laughs> the old man's carving forks. With love. Our orchard. Because she's vegetarian, right? Yikes. And he so knows he, it. But he, because he said it. Oh no. oh no. Oh my god. That is so 
It's, ju it's just a tiny morsel. Oh. Really crispy and yet somehow manages to be soft all at the same time. Mm. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> that was awkward, wasn't it? Yikes. Did she spit it out? Yeah. I'm I don't know. I feel like he's testing the waters, like what they gonna do without saying nothing. Yeah. Because if you don't even tell a motherfucker, you be like, nah, bro, you know I'm vegetarian. You ain't even say that. Right. Ah, uh, come on, mate. Ah, Damn, I feel like he, he was, was trying just to tell him yeah, something. He was trying to tell him something. Oh no, y'all. Quiet around here. I mean, do you guys even have any neighbors? You know. Technology is advanced incredibly. Emotionally speaking, we're all still just caved brothers. So all this perfect. Damn, life. he smoking she don't. <laughs> I didn't think he was a smoker. But what do I know? The internet's been down half a day, and I've nearly bloody killed him. So. <laughs> it's like a digital detox. Is he? Is he all right? Oh no, no, he's fine. He does this sometimes. It's just part of his condition. You know what? I'm gonna just yeah. check on Agnes. Yeah. He's wow. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. You should have said something to him. They killed yeah. Libby. The golden goose. I was trying to make an effort. I know. Ew. What? Then. That is an old stain. Look, we're in the country, all right? I don't know about no doo-doo butter on my on my thing, though. As, as if anything, if I was, I would have flipped it around and put it at the foot. Or something, or if it's, yeah, if it's wet, then we gotta have some talking, you know what I'm saying? It's not like that, but... They probably choose to spend their money on less material things, mm -hmm. you know? Thank you for making the effort. Mm. Oh, hi, baby. I can't fall back asleep. Breathing out. No, 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 I'm in here. Come on. Damn. Played it. <laughs> now nah, he gonna go get the breathing out. Calm down. Settle in. Sweet okay, they made it to the night though. See what I'm saying? It'd be it's like it's it's so right there, but no one has said a damn thing. Not yet. You know what I mean? Like we could see it all, but no one's saying nothing. So it makes us think that we crazy. Looking there, what's that? For our future now. Okay. Okay, he teaches them how to be pioneers. I look at the little fox. You should have brought your rifle. Huh? Yeah. I'm glad you didn't. An American who doesn't like guns. Oh, well, I saw my share growing up. <laughs> Predator control is essential to a balanced it's ecosystem. Yeah. It is. I don't feel like my man's had any time with his wife. Tell me. You think you could move, honey, so that Agnes can have a swing? Come on, Pop. Just for a second. <laughs> Give you a piggyback, yeah? <laughs> Give Agnes a push. Good boy. Oh god, he had... You flaring up? I feel like they, I feel like they, they, I don't know, it's weird because it's like they don't parent that way. And he was, he was kind of aggressive there. He just, it was weird. Yeah, that was weird. You know, Vatra scapula is like a rope. Mm. Just... I know what you need. Cold water therapy. I was about to say, we, we both was like, what you getting at? We didn't bring our swimsuits. Oh, that's all right. You can keep your knickers on. We got a little bit out of hand last night. I fell off a ladder. <laughs> Come on, you lot. No. Get your kiss. There's what he, what he, boot her in the ribs? Be warm again in no time. So, is, is it safe? Is it deep enough? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done it hundreds of times. Go! <laughs> I wasn't even that far for real. It wasn't. It looks like fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same way I learned. Sink or swim. Oh, don't worry. Oh my gosh. Like, edge of it is yeah. killing me. Yeah. It's like the fine line. I don't know. There's very much an edge to this. And you're, we're just not there yet. And then when it turns, it's going to like, it's going to be nuts. Why are you jumping with your theme song? Fire hazard. Bro, she complained about everything. Go stay at a damn hotel then, you mother. Dirty bed. Okay, let's everybody just... I am trying. I really, really am. I don't find them that pleasant to be around. Maybe we could use... Wow, what did, he, what did he do? Hey. Hi. Well, Paddy and I would like to invite you for dinner tonight. Yeah, there's this guy, Mike. Rumor is he's a poacher, but he's an amazing <laughs> cook. <laughs> Private room, like a chef's table type thing. We, we'd love to. Great. Yeah, you ain't leaving now. <laughs> yeah, it seems real unpleasant, huh? 
He need to get rid of her ass, bro. Hey, she get on my nerves as it is. She be in a pooper. Reboot. Let's not make the perfect the enemy of the good. That's a good way to put it. Sure Don't make the perfect <laughs> enemy of the good. Yeah. Whoa. A million bucks. Thank you. Oh, wow. Well, she does So, Mujib doesn't speak the best English, but he's a great babysitter. Are the kids not coming with us? Oh, no. Tonight's about the kids. Didn't I tell you that? Don't worry. He's thoroughly trustworthy. <laughs> Back home, he was a teacher. Best part is, if there's any monkey business, we'll get him deported. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, they just don't like hit me. Th I mean, like what? So, do you think we should leave her with them? We've had manis before. I have a good time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bye, baby. I don't know if I'm doing that. And now he's driving crazy. <sighs> Oh my God. Yep, America's that way, dinner's that way. We're the only diners tonight. Oh, I'm not gonna find this one. A little private dinner. But I don't like the privacy and being so alone, yeah. and, you know what I'm saying? Just to remember I'm a vegetarian. You, wait, yesterday. You guys have gone to so much trouble. Oh. And... Uh, mate, mate, I feel like such an idiot. I'm so oh, sorry. Don't worry about it. Great, but you do still eat fish, yeah? Yes, better for the environment. That kind of pescatarianism is a privilege. But that's... <laughs> And he's, oh, it, the husband is such an, in a tough place, bless his heart. He seems like such a nice guy. Yeah, but when you're right, you're right. Complicated. Uh, Can we agree? Oh, he gonna try to tell her. Hello. Where are you? He's gonna know because it's like all. What was it? Was it like a spell or something on the back of that watch or something? Some phrase. Yeah, he definitely don't know because it's not in the, in the same position. They fuck you up, your mom and dad. They may not mean to, but they do. Man hands on misery to man. <laughs> it's like he's like borderline like a lunatic. Yeah. He's giving me all the signs. It's been what now? 17 years. 17 years. And you know, we still, you know. Oh, Ben's lucky if he gets it once a month. What? Sometimes we roll play. The fact that she laughed it off, bro, you need to get rid of her. Bro. I feel so bad for dude. That's what he wanted. He once wanted to mess with her. Month. Yeah, that's crazy. She's playing it. Horny waitress and hot customer. We can go for something off menu. Yes, please. I'll just in, on the table. In front of folk? <gasps> what? No way. This movie's crazy. Is she really? This is awkward oh for God. him. <laughs> <laughs> what we can imagine is infinitely more sexy than what we can do. Which is why we both like to dine out. Yeah. Winging? Oh, swingers. Lord have mercy. Mike, bang it up, will you? I mean, they are overseas, though. Yeah. They get down at a different pace than we do. You know what I'm saying? Louise, don't go there. That is punchy. Oh, well, that's very kind of you, man. We'll get the car, okay? Bruh, no way. <coughs> Man, I'm paying for it for real. Man. What are you doing? God, what did you do? So is both of them corrupt or something? I don't know, man. This is crazy. This is this is doing a good job of like really keeping us borderline. Mm-hmm. Oop. Dang, I think he knows. Mm -hmm. I think he definitely knew. Yeah. Probably happened before. Why would you say that after everything that we've been through? Hey, I was joking. B belittling me, saying that I'm lucky to get laid? You are so angry. Yes, for seeing another man's dick on my wife's Shh. phone. Damn, she was cheating. You're an idiot, bro. You need, you, need to leave, you need to leave her. I upended my life. I lost my job. I lost my house for you. And when you lost your job, I agreed to stay. I don't know if you're with me because you love me or because you just can't stand to fail. 
That's deep. I do care. I'm really trying. She mad about how the game goes, though. That's how the game is. She don't want to be the breadwinner. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you had a choice to be the breadwinner or to leave. So he was he gonna use that to play on him or something crazy? Probably. Why was she in bed with them? What, like, was it maybe it was just because... What? We're leaving. Mm. But she didn't, I guess she didn't, she didn't like that. I don't know what the problem was, though. She was late with the girl, I guess, and then he was late in between. It looked like they were just kids. Being kids. No. If, if our little girl was in, no. Imagine. He was on the other, he was on the opposite side. If, if I would definitely think something of it if he was right there. Mom. Where's Hoppy? I, I don't. I, oh, damn. They left the damn bunny. When we left? I don't think so. No way. I say lie. <laughs> I'm lying. And dealing with it later. Sweetie, he's not there. What, Hoppy? You gotta grow out of this. You're almost 12 years old. When we get home, we'll ask them to mail him, okay? Look at her like ants. Hey, enough! Hey! Oh, shit. Holy. We can't leave him there. We can't leave him there. You're gonna do that to Hoppy. Listen to me, y'all. That bunny better come to life and kill everybody in this movie for us to be going back to that motherfucking bunny, bro. <coughs> I'm telling you right now. I would be angry and you would have to let me be angry. You would have to. Like I said, we didn't want to like, wake you. What? What's going on? Someone was leaving without saying goodbye. No. Why did you leave? Some, some things happened that made us feel like it was best that we head back home. A Agnes done like sleeping on the floor. She was in your bed. What? Yeah. Who? Paddy was asleep for the whole thing. That's my fault, OK? That is crossing a line. I mean, th that is not it's OK. It's my fault. I'm sorry. We had a baby daughter, no. <laughs> and um, she died at 12. Damn. Now he's looking at her like, yikes, you stupid idiot. She kept calling for you, and, and, and you didn't come, and she was beside herself. So you know how hard it is trying to decide when to intervene and when to give me. I've never felt so bad for a man in a movie in my life. <laughs> I swear. I really feel bad for dude. And found him. Oh, God. <sighs> And now she's out the damn car. Leaving because, because he wanted to show you the chickens. Hey, you remember that time you came to stay and you tried to leave because you flipped out in the night and you didn't say goodbye? <laughs> <laughs> no. You're back trapped uh, again. Yeah. Over that damn bunny. Hoppy. He need to get control of his family, his shit. He need yeah. to put his foot down with her. He need to tell his daughter to wake the hell up and get rid of that damn bunny. Yeah, but that... Like, you can feel bad for him, but you, that <coughs> wouldn't be you. Yeah. Like, get once a month? My boy, first of all. And I can't read it. How are your eggs coming along? Uh-uh. My man is really hiding some shit. So I even think the wife is in cahoots. His girl's in cahoots. Because I thought maybe she'd be innocent. Now they're in the car again. Like, I feel so bad for him, bro. This edge is like really. Yeah, it's intense. It's potent. Are y'all gonna kiss? Well, y'all y'all looking at each other's eye. I'm gonna tell you right now. I ain't never drove in a car and looked at another man's eye listening to, singing a song. Oh, something's not right with him, Mom. It's not normal. Agnes, love. You want to come help me peel these? See, and she popped in right when she about to spill the beans. Mm -hmm. You gotta let it out. Kiss. Will you let me show you something? 
He might be kissing it. What are you talking? Huh? <laughs> Show me something. Uh... <laughs> Get it. <laughs> Bruh, yeah, that's what I need. I need a clip somewhere I can just scream for like five hours. <laughs> Bruh, get off of me. Damn, like y'all related that shit. Right. Oh yeah, go on, Agnes. Show Kira how good you are at setting the table. God, what hey. happened? Honey. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. You alright? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She cut her finger something serious on that. There's a doctor in the house. I'm not a doctor. What? <sighs> Look, uh, sometimes when I meet new people, I just to make a good impression. Yeah. You do then. Well, I don't do anything. Yeah, we sell a bit of marijuana, drop a bit of cider to the locals. What the hell? So they're marijuana and cider dealers. What a hell, what a hustle. Hey, if you need some marijuana, we got some cider too. <laughs> Look at their faces. We should have taken a picture. Oh, of course I'm a bloody doctor. Oh. 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 Nah, I think he's bullshitting. I think he's bullshitting. He's good enough to turn around and yeah. do a joke every time. They say it smells like a rugby club mm. locker room. Agnes, love, you have to eat your vegetables. Eat your greens, sweetheart. What the hell? What the hell? Hey, hey, Ray, excuse me. Agnes, please, could you stop that? It's for her parents to tell her. I didn't mean anything by it, Louise. Don't criticize other people's children. You should say sorry. I'm sorry, Louise. I'm sorry, Agnes. Is there anything you'd like to say? I, I, I may be overreacted it's all good a healthy disagreement teach our kids we can be honest with each other why don't you and aunt show us your um your dance routine y'all been working on it's very very like the edge it's such a weird it's such a weird tone like, in this movie, i don't know bro. what to like i don't know what it's to say crazy. or how to like because right. i don't want to miss anything either because right. like this is, but th when, when is it gonna turn it's getting worse i feel like it when it's like slow building it is oh, and i can't like crock pot I'm hot right now. <laughs> and what's what's the matter, mate? You're... You guys were doing great. Just 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 start it again. Yeah, no, start it again. <laughs> <laughs> he's turning to something. Like, look on his face. I know. He's like, he's like uh, about to beat the shit out of him or something. What are you doing? Oh, and he's spoiling the routine. Patty. He's got they're no just routine. kids. Yeah, they're just kids. Bro. I know. Why is you want to amount to nothing, and? Come on, mate. Right, you see his face though? Isn't like it? his stuff is turning. Yeah, like he's like... getting more aggressive. Agitated. Uh oh, okay. I know. Oh my god. And I don't wanna watch. Just feel two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight. Damn, he ain't go he ain't hit the what what's that hey. damn show we was watching that you used to watch with old girl? That's what I feel like she would do. If they weren't doing it right, she would go over and move their feet forward. Dance moms and bring it. Yeah, dance mom. Hey. Uh, let me rewind it. Again? I'll be praying the Lord, please break that tape player. Please break it. Don't play it. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Where did you go? No! Hey! Hey, Miss Cooney. Did he just throw a piece of bread at my man? Hey, turn it off. Turn it off. Is there a problem? Christ, Patty, he's a child. Ah, now you're parenting our child. You should be offering your son some love while he's crying, oh, not God, shouting Patty, it. go to your room! Patty! Stand up! Stop it! Aww. That was a lot, bro. That was a lot. That was a lot. Like, uh, because I really didn't like how Harry's folks was treating him yeah. and Harry Potter. That first movie was hard to, like, first it was really, really hard to watch. That was, like, a very intense version of that for me. I didn't like that. But knowing James McAvoy, he probably went and hugged that kid. Yeah, after. Like, he probably screamed at him like that and then was like, come here, bud. Like, I don't mean it. I love you. You know, like, the poor baby. Let me get some <laughs> the and poor baby care. boy. Jesus, Ben, you have no problem standing up to me, but you won't say shit to him. Do you know how much bigger that man is than me? You see his calves? I still ain't letting nobody talk to you like you crazy. He gonna have to knock me out. I'm gonna have to leave an ambulance before he do. Sure. I'm not gonna just let it happen. You'll be so angry yeah. and it will be better. You feel me? Oh, no way. Uh 
Oh, he's taking her to the chickens. That's what he was talking about. And what is it? What the hell? My man got an underground tunnel and shit. Oh shit. These are other people's belongings. Yeah. What do they do to them? All those cell phones and iPads. Yeah, that's all their watches and shit. Yeah, it belonged to him. That's his parents. <gasps> oh my god. Those are not even his parents, bruh. They he had a tongue. tongue. Damn, I caught it in the first like five minutes. He cut his tongue out, bruh. That's crazy. When I finish my coffee. Mm. I mean, you say for she's safe right now. I feel like as a kid, she's gonna. Uh oh, did he already get up? I feel like as a kid. What's the matter? Cat caught your tongue. He ain't say that. Oh, coffee. It's a good lad. Show me love. Oh, now you want a piggyback. No problem. So he really got it back on? Okay. Mm -hmm. That's all right. He needs, to be, he needs to end up being like a Robin or something, because he's yeah. good at a little sneaking. And... I am so sorry. Way too much, and I was way out of line. The fact that they still there is what kills me. I know. That last altercation, we would we definitely would have been up out of there if not before. Yeah. Oh, 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 this is all totally normal. Mom, no, it's not. It's Nani the beard. You want one? All right. Where's this newfound enthusiasm come from? Go on, Ben. Put some heat in that arm. He's doing good, giving us yeah. some time. You're gonna leave, right? Well, you just need to stay calm. Yes, stay you definitely got to stay calm. Because if you act crazy right now, it's all going to blow up. You got to play private eye. Yeah. Damn, Stay girl. calm. Get your lips back. Your lips disappeared. I'm saying. Ben, she asked for you. He's always better with her when she's like this. Can we do anything? No. It'll be fine. Damn. So, okay. So, now what's it going to be family versus family now? Because I feel like they all going to find out. No, 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 we'll just be a minute. You just have to go out there and be completely normal. No, oh, no, don't put us through this. They're gonna make us watch them try to not be nervous and yeah. shit. Did we tell them that, that you had your first period? You're super freaked out and that even your daddy couldn't calm you down. So we just need to get you home. All those tears are good. All those anxious thoughts, you can show them. The fact that she's got more balls than he does. Hey, how is she? Yeah, damn. I was... Coming around the corner and all that. I think it might be best if we got her home. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I, I should probably just sleep in the car, to be honest. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, you're not a girl anymore. You're a woman now. I know we can both be... A bit much. <laughs> Quit talking and get the hell out of there. Right. You're trying, you're being too natural now. Oh, well, that is very sweet of you to say. Mm-mm. I feel it any minute. Like, yeah. like I, we have been standing on the tip of a pyramid, yeah. balancing since the start of this movie, and and nothing has happened yet. I feel like it could move at any moment. It's weird. <gasps> They're gonna see it, but they have to open the gate. Damn, tire flat. Oh, you're kidding. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, you got a nail. You can plug this in a jiffy. Come on. Mm -mm. Come give me a hand with the kid. 
will be a take. Mm -mm. No, uh... <sighs> Just run here. About the turn now. Grab that jack. Why don't we call it uh, 90 for labor, 70 for parts? Let's hit the road. Yeah. Got everything you need? Yep. You absolutely sure? Mom. Mm-hmm. Um. Well, how the hell did he get up there? And what the hell? He did that dumb shit. I was actually doing a guttering just before you guys arrived. I'll hold the bottom. You get up there and grab it. No. I cannot do this anymore. Just come on. Yeah, he yeah. <laughs> oh, <so> Jesus. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you picked this movie. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, careful. That's on you. <laughs> You're right. Oh, no. Well, get him home and get him all fixed up. Well. Get the hell out of there. Quit hugging and get the, 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 holler at you. Holler at you. Deuces. That's what I'm hitting you with. Peace, peace, peace. I'm out of here. You'll be safe on those roads, all right? Oh. Next time you guys are Ain't no man kissing on my aggressive. neck like it. Yeah. <laughs> they foreign. But not like, not off these pretenses and turns and shit. Not off everything that didn't happen. I know what you're doing. You're still not being completely honest, are you? Get in the car! Ben and I, we won't be together. I betrayed Ben with someone else. Maybe Ben and I can't get past this. Wow. Yeah, that, that kind of was a lot. Yeah. That was a lot, that was like. Ben loves you very much, Louise. I'm sorry, I don't know why I said all that. Good to get it all out. <laughs> yeah. Did you get the gate for us? And? No need, mate. Okay. I thought he was about to... Get out of there! Quit looking around! Shit! Get out of there! All right. All right, everybody just stay nice and calm. What about Ant? If we don't get away, we can't help him, okay? <gasps> Dad! Dad, stop! <laughs> Shit! Oh, my God. Don't... Oh. Take the wheel. Just try. Ben! Oh my god. Damn, it shut him in. Damn, now he got a gun. Paying transfer? 200 grand. Make transfer? Pay new pay. There you go. Didn't hurt. So he gonna take all their money while they got the shotgun, bro. This is crazy. Yo, dumb ass should've just got out. You're gonna send an email to your landlord saying you're moving home. Look, you can have whatever you want. Just please don't hurt my family. You don't even love him, mate. If you did, you'd have left him in the pond with his parents. Why are you doing this? Because you let us. We are gas-free Teslas. Giving yourself a gold star because you made friends with a couple with a disabled kid. Damn, man, he about to drug her. Agnes, love. Roll that sleeve up, yeah? It's just veterinary ketamine. I'm gonna kill Veterinary ketamine? I'm gonna make a right bloody mess. Ant will tell you. <laughs> He's just accept he can. Please. No, you can't let him do this. It was her that first wanted a kid. This is some kooky shit, bruh. Slice him. Shoot their ass! Shoot her! I'm telling you right now, I am shooting their ass. First ant, okay, they got ant. What about the gate? Yeah. <gasps> ah! What? It's the chef. Oh, chef, chef. The land line. You nearly fucking shot me! No. <laughs> I need you with me. That dude is insane. 
He smacked her and said, baby. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn. Cut the line right there. Ah. Oh. And then down into the woods. I mean, in the dark. They... Oh, at, least, at least they have guns. They hunt at night. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, both of them are hunters. I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I should have listened to you. It's okay. No, no, it's not okay. This isn't... Stop it! Listen to me. Your family needs you. Damn, and now you ain't got no lights. I don't like it. Look, it's okay, honey. They're just trying to scare us. Well, it's working. <laughs> Definitely is working big time. Never forget this, man! Do you feel the same? <laughs> Looney! You don't start a fire? If we could light that on fire, then someone might see it. Oh, fuck! Damn, bro. So y'all dumbass didn't even catch that shit on fire. You might have should have doused it first. Did you get it? Hell no. Okay, come on, let's go. Come on. I think he just caught his only ride out of here on fire. Don't move. And you don't make a sound until you hear my voice again, okay? Sulfuric acid. 91% sulfuric acid. Jesus. That might take you down to the bone a little bit. Yeah. Is that you in there? You're going to give me a little dance, Ben. You're going to step up. You're going to let shit all over you like that fellow on your wife's phone. <laughs> He's like, you. Oh. They might see that. That was enough to light the sky up and shit. <laughs> Blown up my car, you cheeky cunt. Oh, it was his car. Coming in, Brad. This don't look good. He looked like Marv going yeah. up the back of that ladder. <laughs> ben. This shit might save their marriage the way this is going. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. And it's got holes in it too, mm -hmm. so we can see. He is fucked up. This is gonna get ugly. You're gonna have to hold that door. <laughs> At least she hurt him a little bit. Uh oh, watch your back. I mean, it's really here about to go hammer time with this hammer. At least he got it ready, though. If you make some noise and show us where you are, we'll go easy on you. And I'm gonna put you feet first with the f***ing wood stepper. They gotta be quiet. Oh, boy, gotta be quiet behind the wall. Oh, girl just took off. Oh, it was a pump fake. Ah! Tell me I should have took the damn. Oh, come on, man. You that's all you had with the hammer. Ooh, that shit went in there. She <laughs> saved his ass. She did. 
Wait, it's car keys. To the loft. To the loft. Okay, get the kids and go. Go, go, go. You have to do this. You have to go now. You gotta get after the Damn, boy. my man's face is melting. Upstairs. Hurry up. Now you gotta worry about shotgun Betty coming. It's gonna be ugly. How do you gotta go? I mean, y'all got numbers. Y'all can't take that bad shotgun, Betty. Ooh, I think that was the end of that. Ooh, hurry up, grab her, grab her. Hey. This done got came up two yeah, bodies yeah. in one night. Two bodies. Oh, his ankle. Yeah, but he did that to get the ladder for him. Mm -hmm. Go hide behind the car. Hey, go through the yard. She just kept it right there. Take him back to the car. I'll be right behind you. Or you might have to give her the shotgun. No. Kill oh, it. Hey. Hey. Kira, my darling. No way, this ain't good. <laughs> Do whatever you want to us. But please. You think I'm gonna hurt her? You took my Kira away from me. She's all I've got to take care of me now. What, what the hell? We'll look after each other. <laughs> she got him. Damn, she had to. She had, yeah, she did grab a saran. She just she never did. used it. Kill him so we can't do it no more. He just gonna keep on doing it. Come on, nah, Ant. Yeah, Ant wants it. He wants to do it. Do it, yes. That's my boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> die, die, die. The Tommy Jarvis. Damn, bruh. Yeah. Yeah. He deserved it. He earned that kill. Yeah, he killed his family and then took his tongue out, bruh. Man. He deserved that. Wow, they made it out. They made it out. Yeah, see, I think it did save their marriage a little bit. James Watkins. Okay, that was all right. That was fire. That's pretty good. And shout out to James McAvoy. Jason Blum produced it. All right, you guys, welcome back. That was Speak No Evil from this year, 2024, with James McAvoy in it. So, I guess we'll start with you this time. Um, well, um, okay. I think that it has a good quality to it. I don't think it's the best horror movie. I, there, remember Dizzy said that there is an original. So I think maybe down the road we'll check out the original because I want to see, like, um if the original is more chaotic or more gory or more you know what i mean um but i think that this is not a bad film i just feel like it doesn't eclipse uh the level of some of the other horror movies of this year things like your terrifier even your beetlejuice you know what i'm saying we watched some others um it, even uh what's the substance you know what i'm saying it doesn't um have that kind of over the top but it's a good whole quality solid movie i think and i think that the cinematography was done really well i think they got some cin cinematography off in here they did a really good job of putting us on top of this needle and trying to get us to balance all of this stuff through the whole movie because it, it like when you watch the trailer it makes you feel like that this guy is just gonna go ape shit or something 
or like he's possessed or mm. something. This really, this dude is just a crazy mother, and he be hunting people and families and stuff, and be taking the kids and mm-hmm. trying to have a like have his own family, like build his own family through somebody else's stuff and stuff like that. So they did a good job of making you weird between family members, between the couple, between the kids. The damn bunny pissed me off, but that I feel bad for the husband so bad. But I, I also got to look at him like, bro, you was kind of a pussy. You know what I'm saying? You got to have some balls as a man in your house while your girl was running over you. That's why your daughter was running with that stupid ass bunny at 12 years old. All that stuff go from you. You headed the house so you can put your foot down. You got to do what you got to do. And I get how they explained he was on the downside of his kind of life where he lost his job. But his wife was upset. She gave up everything. So I felt bad. He was dealing with his wife. He was dealing with the fact that he's trying to have a good time. He was dealing with the fact that his daughter's still attached to the Stuart Bunny. He's dealing with the fact that his daughter looks at him a certain way. He's dealing with the fact that his wife looks at him a certain way. Then on top of that, he don't feel good about himself. But he's trying to, like, have these uh, positive moments is why he thought it was a good idea to even come out there with this guy that he met. Um, but there was just so many awkward moments, like the the dinner table scene and then like them lying and like he wasn't a doctor and then making all types of jokes about them being hunters and them like old girl like trying to discipline her uh oh the the child in front of her mother and i mean it's just so many of these things y'all that like i feel like you watch on the internet you get them in small doses that get under your skin like someone you see a video of someone's child doing like somebody's mama doing something to a child and it gets under your skin or like you hear about these certain things and I feel like this movie does a good job of it and on top of that it gives you like a horror kind of suspense element with the with the kid that's already there because his tongue's cut out he's been trying to give you signs throughout the whole movie like once I figured everything out all the signs that I was kind of looking at before made a lot of sense leading up to that like the watch him like uh trying to talk trying to tell her something trying to get, like he went that like when they came back and he did the chicken thing and he lied and said he wanted to show him the chickens. No, that place where they had everybody's stuff at was where the chickens was right. at. So he was trying to show them there and stuff like that. So I, I like how they kept it hidden from us until it was time to just kind of like do it. And then it got really, really crazy. And then like the, the woman, she had more balls than the man did. The woman basically, you know, saved him. And she, took like, like you said, two bodies. She took the hammer to the head on the dude. And then she got knocked old girl off the roof and she died. You know what I'm saying? So I thought it was crazy. And then, and then the little girl, you know, she got the ketamine off on dude. You know what I'm saying? The man didn't do shit in it. You know what I'm saying? So that's a that's an instance and in, in something refreshing to see, fellas, that sometimes your woman will save your ass. You know what I'm saying? And she did in this movie. And, that, and I kind of like that because sometimes, most of the time, I bet you in the original, the dude is the one who like leads the wife and the kids out of there and saves his family. But I like how the woman was in this one you know what i'm saying because it kind of made us want to like sh- it made us want to be mad at her at a point in time in the movie but then on the turnaround you can kind of see you know what i'm saying so i'd probably give this movie like a strong eight i think it was a good job i don't think it's the best movie one of the best movies we've seen of the year but i think it's a good solid watch and i would recommend anybody taking a look at it, you dig so um i think like I, I agree with what you said. Like it's probably not gonna be like top five scary movies in anybody's list ever. But I see why they added James McAvoy into it because you kind of he was like the Nicolas Cage for long live. Yeah, and you know they they're trying to get off this concept, and it it's not necessarily receptive if there's not you know, like a familiar-ish kind of face in there trying to push it. But I see why they did add him. And he did a great job. Like, he's a great actor, like I said. So he brought his character to life. Um, the edge that we sat on for an hour and a half until, like, they pushed him in the pond, that was when it turned finally. And, like, it, the entire time before that, like, I'm sitting here, like, hot, like, like like anxious and yeah. just, like fidgety because like what is the hat like what is happening what is about to happen you know and they did a really good job of like turning gears and making everything move at once and trying to figure out but i'm glad they got out like they, they you know it showed the previous but it didn't go that much into detail it was just like all right and i think the watch that the little boy grabbed was his dad like mm-hmm. this watch was my dad and he wait like you know so all this stuff and then he finally sees like the 
or he finally shows her like the underground mm-hmm. with everybody's stuff, like their phones and their Crazy. suitcases and their all their stuff. Like that is just. But we didn't see that room again. Like right. they didn't really like go in there or anything. But yeah, I think this movie was all right. You know, it it, it didn't like I said it didn't go there, go there. But it had had us like sweating in here. Mm-hmm. Like what is about to happen? But even when it did turn, it wasn't like. Oh my god, you know. But it was still all right. I'd probably give it like a seven point five out of ten. It was a nice watch, I guess. I think the realisticness of these situations is what makes it more horrific for right. your audience. Right. And some people kind of get caught up in like that's why I said like uh, in comparison to other horror movies, um, I think this is a different ride. I wouldn't consider it not good. Right. Um, I think that of this style of horror movie of this year it's probably top five not like your gory slasher mm-hmm. stuff i think that this the the realisticness of you kind of just going out with your family being on vacation those stories resonate with the audiences so well right. and i think that that's kind of like you said why this story was in a sense i guess you could call it basic it wasn't really you know super contextual mm-hmm. and all this like James McAvoy pulled this, but at the same time, bro, this could happen to anybody. Yeah. And that's what's really, really scary about it. Like, you got your family, and this, like, you find out, like, imagine that. Like, you, this could really happen. You find out that your daughter brings you pictures yeah. of other families that, like, that, that's crazy. It is. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's the part, once you start getting through this, like you said, fidgety, you're sweating. You don't know like what's gonna happen, and I think that is like the best part about the ride for this. So, well, before we get out of here, you guys let us know what you think in the comments and what you think about this movie. Speak no evil from twenty twenty four. Um, happy birthday to me yes. again! Happy birthday! To Tell me. her happy birthday in the comments, y'all. Um, but make sure you guys are smashing that like button, and if you're new to the channel. Hit subscribe and tap that notification bell so when we do a video just like this one, you guys get it first. Also, um, on Patreon, we get full links, unedited, all the commentary on those videos, and um, a reminder about Twitch. We be on Twitch every Saturday for Dragon Ball Dima, so you guys can come follow us on there. All those links are in the description, and we'll see you guys in the next one. I'm White Gold. This is Fireworks, and this is Snoopers Gonna Snoop YouTube channel. We out.